Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I already own a couple of pole chainsaws, but when I saw this pole chainsaw that we're going to be looking at today, I just had to have it. I think this is a very innovative mini chainsaw that has a lot of improvements over the other chainsaws that I own and that I've reviewed previously. First of all, this is two chainsaws in one. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love tools that do double or triple duty. Instead of having a lot of tools cluttering your space, I think it's better to have one tool that can solve multiple problems. Well, this chainsaw works both as a mini handheld chainsaw for cleaning up small to moderate jobs around your yard, then it can also be converted into a very long pole chainsaw that is very adjustable and makes it easy to reach those high branches without the need of using a ladder. So I got this pole chainsaw because I think it has a lot of potential and I think you guys may also find it very useful. So let's unbox this puppy and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. All right, let me get this guy out of the box and we'll talk more about it. All right, guys, so when you unbox this kit, this is everything you get. There is a lot of bits and pieces in this case. It's a very complete case. I had it laid out on this table here so you can see a little bit better what all is included. But I'm going to go into more detail and talk about each one of the items and show you a little bit more closely what everything does. But this is the kit. When you first unbox it, this is all the bits and pieces. I put it here on this table so you can see a little bit better. And then we'll go into a little bit closer detail on each particular item, see how it works, put it together, all that kind of good stuff. So let me give you a little bit of information about the kit. So this is the MUM Live 2-in-1 cordless pole chainsaw available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $219.99, but they do have a $35 discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So what's included in this case? Well, everything you see on this table here right in front of you. You get the mini chainsaw itself. You get the pole, which is right behind it, so you can use it as a pole chainsaw. You get one battery, which is 21 volts, 3 amp hour battery. You get the charger for the battery. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about this kit, how to put it together, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. You get a shoulder strap you can see back there. You get what looks like a hand brake, but it's not really a brake. It's actually just a protector for your hand. And you get a handle for the saw that so you can use it as a two-handed saw if you want to do that. You get some protective glasses and then you get adjustment tools and stuff like that so you can adjust the blade if you need to. It already comes very well adjusted when you open it up. But if you need to, it brings a screwdriver and a tool for undoing the nut and so forth so you can adjust it. And it brings a cleaning brush and a little sharpener for your blade. So that's very convenient right there. Most of these kits don't include all this kind of stuff. And it brings a little funnel for you to put the oil in it because it does have a manual oiler, as we're going to discuss. Now, this kit comes with a one-year warranty. And like I said a moment ago, it comes with a 21-volt, 3-amp-hour battery. The beauty of this battery is that it is a Makita-compatible battery. See, a lot of people won't point out this very important fact. This is one of the things that make this kit really, really cool because you can always get batteries from the manufacturer if you want to. But if you don't want to, or they're out of stock, or you do whatever you want to do, you can always get a Makita-compatible battery. If you have already Makita-compatible batteries in your arsenal, then you have plenty of batteries to be able to use with this saw right here. So that's a very convenient thing right there. You're never going to have to worry about finding a battery for this saw. Now, the dimensions on this saw, basically the chainsaw itself, is 20 inches by 5 inches by 5 inches, and it only weighs 2.7 pounds. The pole itself, closed the way you see it right there on the table, is 4.4 feet in length. You extend it, it goes all the way out to 9 feet in length. Now, the critical dimensions that I'm sure everybody's wondering about, the length of the pole and the chainsaw together, that comes out to be 6.2 feet when fully compressed, and it can extend out to 10.6 feet when fully extended. Now the cutting height that you can reach with this saw is up to 16.6 feet, which is really, really far up. And the reason for that is basically you assume a six foot tall person using this saw, you can reach 10.6 feet more. So six foot person, 10.6 feet, 16.6 feet in height. So any branches that are 16 and a half feet in the air up above you, 
you can reach without ever having to step on a ladder. So that's very, very cool about this saw right here. Now this is a one-handed mini chainsaw that you can use by itself on the ground without the pole, and it is an eight inch bar and chain on this unit. They do have a six inch also if you wanna get something smaller and cheaper, but I decided to go with the big guy because I think bigger is better. This unit also comes with a manual oiler, which I think is really cool because a lot of these mini chainsaws do not bring any kind of oiling mechanism whatsoever. It would have been ideal if it had been an automatic oiler, but hey, manual oiler is better than no oiler at all, which is what most of the mini chainsaws on the market come with no oiler. So this is a great advantage right here for this little device. It is also a brushless motor, which gives you a longer life and more power. As far as adjusting the chain on this, it's very convenient because all you have to do is loosen the nut right there, has a little knob behind it, you adjust the knob, and you're set to go. Very, very easy to do. These guys come with a rubber overmold on the chainsaw itself, so you have ease of grip right there, even if your hands are dirty, sweaty, whatever, or if you're wearing gloves, you'll be able to handle it without any trouble. And the pole itself does have a rubber overmold on the handle, and a foam overmold on the body itself, making it more convenient for you to grip and handle it. Now the pole itself has a couple of very convenient features, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. The handle can rotate 180 degrees, and I'll point that out in just a moment. And the head is also adjustable to three different positions. Now the head on the pole saw, as you can see, is tilted right there to 90 degrees. Basically the specs on this say that it will go to zero degrees, 90 degrees or 180, meaning that it'll go 90 degrees in both directions. So you can either have it straight up at zero degrees or 90 to the left or to the right. So there you go, that's your 180 right there. So this two-in-one mini chainsaw and pole saw is great for doing all sorts of projects and maintenance on trees and shrubbery around your yard. Anything from trimming thick branches high above your head while standing safely on the ground and not needing to use a ladder, then switching to a handheld mini chainsaw and cutting down those branches easily with the 8 inch bar and chain to dispose of all those branches. Great for the DIYer to be able to maintain their yard easily and safely, plus being cordless means not having to worry about any cords getting underfoot. So let's look a little bit closer at this guy, start putting it together and do some testing, see how this guy performs. All right guys, so let's take a little closer look at the chainsaw itself. So as you can see, there's a look at the chainsaw. Like I said, it's basically 20 inches by five inches by five inches this way. So it's not big at all, very compact, easy to carry it and handle it with just one hand. This is an eight inch bar and chain on this guy. Like I said, you get to get a six inch if you want, but I think this is much better right here. As far as adjustment goes, all you do is loosen this nut here and it brings a tool so you can loosen that nut right there. Then adjust the tension with this little knob right here, tighten up the nut again, and you're good to go. And it brings pretty much everything you need, the screwdriver for putting on little screws right now, because it does come, this one does come with this protective cover that goes right here, and with a handle. The six incher does not bring a handle, but this one does, so you can have more control if you want to use it with both hands. There is the manual oiler right there, which you can do very conveniently with your thumb. When you're using it, you're holding it, you just press it down with your thumb, very easy to do. That's where you put the oil in here. Just unscrew this little cap right there. Put the oil in there, take the little thing off, put the oil in there, and you're good to go. So that's very convenient to do right there. So that's not a problem there. Now, as far as assembly this guy, like I said, very easy. This little thing that looks like a brake, it's not really a brake, it's just to protect your hands. And all you do is there's a couple little notches right here. You put this guy in there, and you just insert it, couple of holes right there, insert it in there, and you're good to go. And there's a couple of screws that you put on this side. The handle goes right in here and right up here. So you insert it right there, and then you just uh, twist it to right there, put in a couple of screws right here, and you're good to go. So let me put the screws on these guys, and we'll go from there. So even if you don't have a screwdriver, it comes included so you can assemble this very easily. And like I said, this is not a brake, it's to protect your hand. It doesn't move, doesn't do anything. Because right here, when you have this handle in place, if you have your hand right there, it works to protect your hand from any kickback or damage or anything like that. The saw kicks back, you won't get hurt. Your hand is right there being protected. So that's the point of this guy right here. 
So now let's put these screws in on this guy. And there you go, it's fully assembled. That's how it looks like with the handle and everything in place right there. There's a handle, like I said, you could use it very easily with your hand right there, and you have protection from anything hurting you. There's your oiler right there, very convenient, easy to do, very easy to handle this guy. Let me put the battery on it, we'll see how it works. Now slip the battery on it, just slip it from down here, and you put that on there, and it has a safety switch right here at the bottom, press that, and there you go. And it works very nicely, and it is tightened up pretty well, so there's nothing you need to do about it. You see my finger is away from the trigger, so it is well tightened as it comes, so there's no difficulty with that goes. Minimal, there's no adjustment really necessary. If yours needs adjustment for some reason, I already told you, loosen this guy up, adjust the knob here, and your tension will be just fine, and you have no problem at all. All right, there you go. Let's move on to the pole. All right, so let's take a little closer look at the pole itself. It has a lot of interesting features. Let me point them out right here on the bench where it's easy for you to see, and then we'll go and extend it out and see how far this guy can reach. Now, as far as the head goes, it is very adjustable. It has these buttons here, one on each side. You press them both together, and you can adjust it to a lot of different angles. And it has a lot of detents. First of all, it could go all the way to 90 in one direction and 90 in the other direction. So it goes really, really far. And it has a lot of detents in between. It's not just zero to 90. It'll stop a lot of places and it locks. You see right there, that's one detent. That's another detent. That's another detent. That's another detent. So it has like four or five different detents in between. So you can get micro adjustments to get it where exactly you want it to go. So that's very good. And the same thing happens in both directions. So you can adjust it a lot like the 180 degree sweep that I mentioned previously. So that's very convenient right there. Now, as far as extending the pole, you just have these two little guys right here that you open them up and then the pole extends for both of these guys right there. Very convenient and deep, close them up when you're done. That's very cool right there. As far as the body of the pole, you see right here, you have a nice foam insert, which makes it easier for you to grip it. You get a good grip on it. You're not going to lose control because the foam is convenient and easy for you to grip. As far as the handle goes, you have a nice rubber overmold there, so you have good control over the saw itself. And this guy also rotates 180 degrees. You have this button right here, this guy, and all you do is press this guy down, and then you see right there, you can rotate the handle in 180 degrees all the way around from this side all the way to this side very conveniently. So you can stop in between or you can go all the way to the end, giving you a lot of control right there. And you have the trigger right here as well, because when you're using the saw, what you do is you put the battery down in here. There you go. You insert it right there and now it works. So when you put the saw on the other end, the battery's at this end and it works perfectly fine. Let me take that off of this end. And let's put the saw on this side over here. Now to put the saw on this side, let me put it straight up. What you do is you slide it in just like you're sliding the battery on here. So in other words, you normally put the battery over here. You don't need to do that. You put this guy in here and it slides right in place like that. And now it's a pull chainsaw. So that's very convenient right there. And then it has this little stopper back here that you need to slide it up. And that way it prevents it from potentially sliding out of the back. So you lock it in the back, you lock it in the front, and now it's ready to go. So that's very cool right there. And then you have the switch at the other end of the pole. You hit the trigger down there and it starts this guy up here. That is pretty darn cool right there. So we're going to see that in just a moment. So that's what it looks like when it's attached to the pole. So let's go test it out. All right, guys, so to give you some idea how long this chainsaw will get when it's attached to the pole, how far does it reach, well, let's take a little closer look at it. So you see it's all put together right now, and it's attached to the pole right there. So we have the tape measure right next to it, and let's see, how far does it go? Well, you start off at basically six feet right there. That's as small as it will get. So now let's extend it out, and let's see how far it goes. And if you extend the chainsaw out fully, there you see I have to stand really far back to get it fully in the frame. But there it is, fully extended at 10 and a half feet right there. Let's start over here at the top. 
And you can see there's the chainsaw right there. And there it lines up with the beginning of the tape measure. And it's fully extended. That's the three sections that it has. All the way back here, what do you see right there? Well, that's about 10 and a half feet right there. So that shows you that their measurements on the Amazon page are accurate. That is one heck of a long pole saw right there. And it can work as a mini chainsaw as well. So two really convenient chainsaws in one. That's why I got this guy. I like this. This is very, very cool right there. So let's test this guy out and see what it can cut. All right, guys, so here we have a three by four piece of lumber that I'm gonna use for testing right now. Let's test this guy out right here on the bench and see exactly how well this guy can cut. And then we'll see something outdoors and see what it can do. So let's test a little bit of cutting right here. This is an eight incher, so it should have no trouble going through a big piece of lumber like this. So let's test it out. There you go, no trouble at all. There you go, that's a nice big piece of redwood lumber right there and it cut through it without any difficulty whatsoever. So it should be able to handle just about any kind of lumber you throw at it or big branches. All right guys, so here we are outside in my backyard and I'm showing you exactly where I'm going to be standing and this is the tree that I'm going to trim some branches from it. So you can see it's pretty high up there, but I should have no trouble whatsoever with this saw. So give you an idea from down here, I'm going to stand right there on that spot and I'm going to trim some branches way up there without using a ladder. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. And here we go switching over to the action cam. I put the camera on the pole. That way you can see exactly what I'm doing. And it's a little jittery because it's a little hard to look through a camera and get oriented. But I'm cutting it right now. You can see there you go. No trouble whatsoever. And let's cut another one right here. And there you go. A little bit of wobble because of the shaking of the saw. But no trouble at all. So I reached way up there with the action cam. And I was able to cut some branches without any difficulty at all. So there you go. That gives you some idea how the saw works. All right, and here's a closer look at the branches that I just took down so you can see exactly what it was that I knocked down. They're actually decent sized branches and the thickness is actually pretty good. You're looking at about one and a half, maybe two inches in thickness and the saw did its job just fine. So there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a very convenient two-in-one pole saw and mini handheld chainsaw. I think this chainsaw combo is pretty cool. You saw how easily it tackled some pretty big chunk of lumber right here on my bench. Then you saw how easily it trimmed some branches from my tree and I didn't even have to stand on a ladder to do it. I also didn't have to extend the pole all the way. I could have reached much higher, but I didn't want to because I didn't want to take more branches off my tree. It's bare enough already due to the season. So if you've been looking for a pole saw and a mini chainsaw separately, why not save yourself the money and get this two-in-one chainsaw, which will probably cost you less than buying the two items separately. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.